Hello SCU Law Exam Takers. In this video, we take a look at this warning that comes up and will prevent you from launching Exemplify. Yes, I'm talking about the virtual machine warning. Let's explore how to resolve this issue for your Windows operating system. So why is this happening? By default and as an anti-cheating measure, Exemplify will detect if you are a virtual environment. If you are running a virtual machine service, then try to update and or reinstall Exemplify. This notice will pop up. What do you do? Panic. No. Just relax. Examsoft support is a phone call away. Call their 24-7 support line at 866-429-8889, extension 1, and they can instruct you on how to resolve this issue. If you are feeling extra confident and want to try resolving the issue by yourself, then keep viewing this video. As a disclaimer, you should always perform a backup on your computer and create a restore point before attempting any of the steps provided to you by Examsoft support or any steps outlined in this video. Again, your best bet is to contact Examsoft support at 866-429-8889 extension 1. So you fired up Examplify, and then this comes up. First thing you want to do is to determine if you are indeed running the type of virtual machine service that is blocked by Examplify. You will want to run a Windows PowerShell as a user with administrator access and run systeminfo.exe. Check the output, and it should indicate that a hypervisor has been detected. Now the next step is to disable the hypervisor services. Do a Windows search and type in Windows, turn features on or off, and run the application. Search and disable anything labeled Hyper-V. Run Exemplify again, and then check if it can launch. If the error comes up again, then run systeminfo.exe to check if the hypervisor service is still running. If it is, then it must be disabled in the system BIOS, which is the basic input-output system. The system BIOS will seem like an intimidating place, but if you are uncomfortable making any changes, then contact Examsoft support at 866-429-8889 to get help. Their support team can instruct you on how to get into the system BIOS. To get in the system BIOS, you need to restart your system, and then you will need to know the keyboard combination to interrupt the boot up sequence and get you into the system BIOS. For example, in this video we are using a Dell 5400, and the keyboard combo is just the F12 key. For other computer models, please refer to the vendor's user manual and or look up the keyboard key combo online. When you power up your computer, you quickly hit the keyboard key or keyboard combo, then select System BIOS to enter the BIOS settings. Then you want to search for all the virtualization features and disable them. Once you exit and save the settings, then log back into your computer and launch Exemplify again. We hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you and good luck on your upcoming exams.